What is our value when it comes to sleeping pads? Is it important? Can you choose whatever sleeping pad you want and expect it to be warm and comfortable? Hi, welcome to Backpacking Adventures Sweden. I'm Jens. Today I will talk about sleeping pads and more specifically about the R value. The sleeping pad is what keeps you warm from the cold ground and is the base for a comfortable night's sleep. It's the insulation that together with your sleeping bag keeps you warm at night. The most common way of measuring the warmth of a sleeping pad is by the so-called R value. I will walk you through what this is and why it is important. And at the end of the video I will share with you a few different types of sleeping pads and when they may be suitable to use. But the weather is not very nice, it's getting quite chilly and it's very windy. So let's take this inside. talking about uh, sleeping pads and R value. R value means resistance value. R stands for resistance. That is how much will the sleeping pad resist heat from leaving you? How much heat can you retain? There is a R value formula. I'm not skilled enough to do any calculations related to it, but there are others that have done that already. The R value is a standard that we have on sleeping pads from 2020. It's the ASTM F3340-18. That's what it's called, the standard. With this standard, you're able to present a number, a R value. This may have its flaws, of course, as everything else, but it's at least a standard for sleeping pads that we can use to understand better what sleeping pad suits me at what time, in what climate, in what temperature. So I thought of going through how this R value and this standard is done. I thought of showing you how the process is set up. So, how I have understood it from reading several articles about it. In the testing, pads are sandwiched between a hot plate, which is about 35 degrees Celsius on top. This mimics the body. And then there's a cold plate at the bottom, which is about five degrees Celsius this is mimicking the ground. Over the course of four hours, testers measure how much energy the top plate uses in order to stay at a consistent 35 degrees Celsius. The less energy it takes, the more insulated the pad is. The more energy it takes, the less insulated the pad is. And what's the scale? For this R value? Well, it starts at zero with no insulation at all and it goes up to seven, eight, nine, ten or something. And what makes these sleeping pads warm then? Well, there's different types of insulation in them. Well, first of all, it could start with nothing but air. But then it could be synthetic material that is used inside the sleeping pad. It could be down it could also be pen foil that is used in the sleeping pad to reflect heat. And why not have as much insulation as possible, you might ask? Well, you might want the heat to be able to escape during a hot day or a hot night. Adding insulation to your sleeping pad adds weight, it increases the size and it costs more. And the R value that is put in your sleeping pad, that could vary depending on how you use it. If you're not inflating your sleeping pad sufficiently, it may end up with a lower R value. On the other hand, 
if you add a thin foam pad beneath your sleeping pad, it could actually increase the R value as R values add up. So why then is the R value so important or what can you use it for? Well, as mentioned, you could compare different sleeping pads with each other. You can maybe be more certain that you will stay warm during your backpacking adventure by choosing the right sleeping pad with the right R value. You don't want to wake up in the middle of the night freezing because you have chosen a too cold sleeping pad. Although you shouldn't align R values with temperature readings, many people do and even more people want to do so. So, while it's not the correct way of measuring uh, the warmth of your sleeping pad, according to numerous articles, chart and ideas from all over the world, it seems that if you have a sleeping pad with an R value of around two and a half or three, you should be fine down to freezing to zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I have not tested that myself. I have used my sleeping pad with around three in R value down to at about six, seven degrees. It has been perfectly fine. And here on the screen, I will show a few different sleeping pads with different R values that are quite common in the hiking community to give you an idea of what sleeping pad you could have for different occasions and different adventures you go on. We have the Thermarest NeoAir Uberlight, the Thermarest x Lite, the Nemo Tensor, you have x -Ped, you have Big Agnes, and of course, you can always use a foam pad or combine your insulated sleeping pad with a foam pad to add R values. Some interesting facts. The temperature rating on your sleeping bag is based on tests with a mannequin dressed in base layers, socks and a beanie and laying on a sleeping pad with an R value of 4.8. So sleeping on a sleeping pad with an R value lower than 4.8 might mean that your sleeping bag is not keeping up with the temperature rating of that bag. So this is what I've heard. Don't quote me on it this is how it seems to be. Anyway, I hope this video gave you some insights to what the R value means, why it is important and why you should wisely choose a sleeping pad with a correct R value for the adventure you are going on. And if you're interested in the gear that I use, you can watch my backpacking gear playlist up here. So, that was it. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.